Hey, how's it going, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Cattle are walking towards the back right now. What I'm hoping is that they don't just see me and then uh, start moving and then uh, make a dash for the gate up front to get some grain. There's plenty of grass here right now, plenty of grass. I'm only giving these animals uh, grain one time a day as of right now. To, uh, well, I just give them a little bit of grain in the evening. Just, just because they like eating it, makes them happy. And I can afford it, it, it ain't the end of the world. It's just a little bit of grain in the evening. I spoke with a uh, USDA representative yesterday on getting a loan, on getting an agricultural loan. That USDA representative gave, uh, I asked some more specific questions that I had. Uh, from the information that I collected, uh, granted that this is kind of a banana phone type deal. It's just, uh, they said, he said, she said kind of thing, right? But uh, from what I understand, the USDA does offer 100% loan to value loan. So they will fund the entire thing up to $600,000. I asked about PMI as well. So I asked them, I said, if I took a 100% loan, uh, would I be paying a private mortgage insurance? I got my coffee in hand this morning. I woke up a little late, so I put it in a, in a paper cup so I could get back here. I asked him, I said, if I took a 100% loan to value loan, would I need to uh, pay private mortgage insurance? And they told me that if I took a loan from the USDA, there was zero insurance on it of any sort or anything else. The only thing I owe the USDA is principal and interest, which is phenomenal. Private mortgage insurance could be a could could be as high as a few hundred dollars a month. You know, several thousand dollars a year. And so uh, uh, that that's phenomenal. Uh, zero private mortgage insurance is a uh, is a phenomenal thing. So I asked them about that yesterday. As of right now, well, so they sent me like the uh, an application to to get into to, to qualify for a USDA loan. I need to uh, satisfy certain requirements. And so they sent me a application with those requirements on it just so that I can take a brief look at about what my paperwork needs to look like for me to get a loan. And on that paperwork, I got a few things that I still need to uh I still need to get squared away. Uh I still need to get about one more year of uh of tax returns to to be able to uh and I need to farm my file my, my farm I, I need to file my farm income on my tax return uh to qualify for that USDA loan so that the USDA knows that I am able to produce an income on a farm. Which makes sense, right? Because well I always say you know, I firmly believe that money, a lot of people, when they talk about they don't got the money, the amount of money that somebody actually needs to make a drastic change in their life is very minimal. Most people don't have a money problem. Most people have some kind of a character problem or some other problem. Like when I look at a piece of land and they say, oh, this land is half a million dollars and we'll give it to you and you're gonna owe us $2,000 a month. The average person, it don't matter, uh, you know, a lot of people, e even then, if I gave them, uh, let's say I gave a person 85, 100 acres, and I said, you owe me $2,000 a month, most people would still go bankrupt. It ain't like, oh my gosh, I, I don't have $2,000 a month, so I can't buy this land. It ain't about that. But for most people, the, 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 the $2,000, most people can figure it out. If they put themselves to it and they said, oh my gosh, like, 
you know, like this is my life dream and I need to figure out how I'm going to make $2,000 a month. This is a life or death scenario that most people can go and find $2,000 a month that they'll make it happen. But what they won't make happen is the farm itself. And I ain't saying everybody got to be a farmer, right? I'm just using the farm because that, that's what I know. And so, um, but from what I've seen, the money is usually not what, make, what, what makes or breaks the deal. It's the individual themselves. Because if I really, 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 uh, like, you know, if I really found somebody and, you know, and somebody uh, and, and, I, and they were like, oh man, I want to do this. Well, how bad do they want to do it? Are they willing to work seven days a week? Are they willing to put in 15, 16 hours a day? Those are the things that matter. The $2,000 a month is very, very, very far back in the back of my mind. I don't like, uh, that's what I say when I look at something, I don't look at the money. I look at, I look at what needs to be, uh, I look at other things. Because at the end of the day, if, if it was a life or death scenario and I had to make $2,000 a month, I could make it happen. Um, it, it, I mean, I, I, even if I lost sleep, I could make $2,000 a month. And so, uh, yeah, but I mean, but that's the thing is it, like uh, when when looking at a uh, when looking at an 85 acre field. The monetary value of it. It ain't that important. It is important to a certain degree to where, yes, I would need the money, but it ain't going to be what makes or breaks the deal. What makes or breaks the deal is going to be the farmer themselves on a piece of land like that. And so the $2,000 a month, I don't even worry about it. I look at other things like, will I be, you know, if I took a half a million dollar loan, I'm going to owe the bank $2,000 a month for like 30 years every day. Or, you know, I'm going to owe the bank $2,000 a month for, for 30 years. So that's going to effectively be a majority of my life. And so I ask myself, you know, is, 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 do I want to be a farmer for the rest of my life? The answer, well, I mean, you know, the uh, farming is the only thing I've ever wanted to do ever since I was a young man. And so I don't see that changing in the second half of my life. You know, the reason that I ended up like this, where I'm able to do this is because I spent so much time doing it. Like when someone looks at me and they go, oh, my God, this guy, this guy's smart. That's why he made it. I ain't that smart. Uh, I'm going to just be completely honest. There are people who are smart. I, I've listened to people who are smart. And they like see an apple fall out of a tree and they go, oh, my God, this is a this is the formula for gravity or something. Or they'll, they, they'll say something actually real smart and, and or they'll they'll go. Uh, oh, man, I didn't even pay attention in school and I still graduated in the top 25 percent or whatever. Me, I didn't pay attention in school and I almost I, and I failed math in the 10th grade. That's what happened to me for, for not paying attention. And so I, I ain't exactly the smartest thing. I, 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 ain't, I ain't the smartest person, okay? I'm just going to be honest. I ain't the smartest person. And so, uh, I mean, I may be, uh, I may, I, I may be uh, good at certain things. Like, I know that some people are good at certain things. Uh, they're not good at uh, other things, but they are good at certain things. That's probably more of my, my, uh, my reality is that I'm probably a little bit better at this um, I'm probably not so good at a lot of things too, but that's perfectly fine. You know, in terms of me living a happy life, I, I live a happy life. That's what's important, right? I live a, I, I, I live a life that's okay to me. And so at the end of the day, that's fine. Like what, what does it matter if I don't know how to do, uh, uh, like if I don't know how to solve for X, right? <laughs> that, 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 that don't really matter to me well it, it not that it don't matter i mean it, it'd be great if i could learn some math i mean that, that'd be fan that'd, that'd be cool i mean i think i could do something with it right but i mean and what does it matter if i can't uh uh i mean uh dot on my i's and cross on my t's maybe, maybe i ain't that good at english either but that, that, that's perfectly fine you know what i'm saying uh, in, in all intents and purposes, that's okay. I can still read, right? <laughs> I can still get on the internet and read books.
and so it's perfectly fine but um yep all in all it is it'll be okay I, I just got to uh i got to get my paperwork squared away and then uh i completely forgot what i was talking about i took a sip of coffee and everything just went out went out the window but uh yep i took uh i took weights on some of my animals yesterday just to see what the uh the weights on my cattle are i took a weight on this fella right here oh wait is that no that's, that's not him i took a weight on uh on this fella right here this fella he don't seem to be grown very fast um according to the numbers uh he came in at 375 and so uh i don't know what's going on with him but he ain't he he he, he barely putting on a uh, 30 pounds a month or so um last time i weighed these animals was a uh, january 25th and uh he in january 25th he had weighed about uh well i, I don't i actually don't know what happened january 25th I, I think he weighed something like 315 or something like that and it's been two and a half months and, and i and i weighed him in at about 370 i took a tape measure maybe i measured him wrong but I mean, 370. It don't. It don't seem like that. That'd be too far off. Maybe I was real far off the first time. But when I measure these animals, I try. I look to uh, be very, very, very meticulous in how I measure them. I measure them very carefully. And this guy's also a Jersey, uh, Jersey cross. So maybe he's just growing a little bit slower. I took a weight on this guy right here. This buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, he came in at about 500, about 495. And so he's putting on just about 50 pounds a month. Uh, I weighed him on January 25th as well. And uh, yep, he put on just about 50 pounds a month. And w w which is about what I see in terms of uh, what these animals uh, do on a regular basis here. They, they usually put on about 50 pounds a month. And that's what this guy's doing. But here pretty soon, I'm going to look into uh, raising that 50 pounds a month. When I'm able, when I get that Sudan grass growing, I'm going to get that... Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be putting more feed in front of these animals a lower quality feed but more volume and uh maybe i could even put some silage in front of them but these animals this guy he's he's coming in at about uh he's uh 50 pounds a month of gain he's about 500 pounds and uh yep and so i would say you know like what when, when they're standing next to each other they're about the same size so they're both gonna be i would say she's a little bit bigger and so uh she probably about uh oh it ain't it may, maybe it ain't, i don't think it's quite 10 percent bigger maybe, maybe she is 10 percent bigger so maybe about 550 and you see uh the difference in the uh the muscle structure of these animals you see this guy he, he he's a he's a brahmin influenced animal and so he's kind of got the uh the brahmins they, they, they're kind of uh they're kind of thin and so you see how this guy way 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 more uh more fill on him he's just a uh, thicker animal this guy he probably uh weighs uh he probably weighs about 550 too and uh i'm trying to find little guy i took little guy's weight yesterday too little guy let me uh let me measure him but little guy but take a look at this animal okay so this animal about 495 is what i measured i measured him twice i measured him uh, as carefully as possible and uh where little guy go i took little guy's weight and little guy was uh, about a uh, 475 so they're about the same weight but uh little guy he's a uh, he's a uh, he's a very uh, oh i found him little guy he's a uh, he's kind of more of like a compact animal he's not very long but he is very 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 uh thick here he is right here this is a little guy hey little guy and so uh he got a piece of wood on his eye there you go, boy. But this is little guy. Little guy lets me uh get up on him. I actually had this uh, this animal since he was about six weeks old. Um, this guy right here, his uh his mama died. Um, the farmer found him just walking around on a field, and they don't know what uh. Well, I think that the mother just died of natural causes, you know, when he was a little calf. And so uh, yep, I've been raising this guy since he was about six, seven weeks old. He's about uh, nine months old today, and uh, he's about 475 pounds. And so you can see the uh, the difference in the body structure of this guy. He's kind of compact, like he's kind of he's kind of like a like a little bit uh, compact, 
but he's real, 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 real uh wide. You see, uh, he he's real thick. And so this th this is another 500 pound animal, just about. He's about 475 pounds. And so, yep, I'm thinking of what if he was a little bit longer. If he was just a little bit longer, he he would have uh, put on weight much faster. But it is what it is. I mean, uh, I can't just get all uh, whoa. I mean, uh, I mean, it is possible to get all like a uh, super heavy, uh, heavy framed, a uh, large framed, long animals, and but yep but a uh, majority of these animals well, but th but that that's a 500 pound animal and buddy buddy's a 500 pound animal too and so uh yep i would say as of right now these animals um on a majority of them yeah like she she's a big old uh well when, when i know what what certain animals weigh and they're standing next to each other i can just kind of gauge it oh this animal's 10 percent bigger oh this animal's 20 percent bigger and so a little guy's about 475 and buddy buddy's about 495 so yep i got a uh these animals um well i need to make about 600 a head to, to break even and anything over that is money in my pocket and so um at 500 pounds like little guy right here he's gonna be worth more than 600 dollars easy uh i wouldn't be surprised if, if i get over a. Uh, 700 on him in all honesty uh he's black hided he's real thick but he does have horns on him and uh yep but gotta hold on to him for a little bit longer just a little bit longer ow he's got little stubby horns on him and he and he he's rubbing his head on me too but these animals don't rub their heads on me and when they were little little babies it was perfectly fine but now that they got these stubby little horns on them it hurts but it's okay fella he just he can't be doing that <laughs> hey, yep like this guy right here this guy's huge this guy's my biggest animal right now this guy's huge uh, i would say he's probably over 600 pounds and so for me to make money on an animal like this i just have to make a dollar a pound and I and I would make my money on them, but th this is about where I want them all. When 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 they get about to this size is when I want to be about selling them. But this guy, uh, well, the uh, the amount of uh, grass available on this field is I still got more than enough grass on this field right now, so I don't really have to sell animals. I'm not like in an emergency situation to sell animals. So I figured I'd hold on to them a little bit longer, all of them a little bit longer. If I turn in, if it turned into a dire situation where I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, I, I need some capital right now. Th that's when I would start taking uh, my largest animals first. Like this one, he, he'd go. Yeah, I got, I got another uh, big red steer right here. He'd probably have to go to, but it's okay. As of right now, as, as of right this moment, everything's going good. The weather is good. Um, grass is growing. I ain't like a, I ain't like in a, in a life or death bind for money. And so, uh, yep. Um, it's, uh, yep. It'll, it, it, I, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to let them, uh, put on some more weight. They're putting on about 50 pounds a month. I'm spending about $400 a month to, uh, to, to put about 50 pounds a month on them. If I feed them a little bit of grain, that 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 uh that, that actually okay so the reason that i don't feed so much grain is because uh take this for example if i spend four hundred dollars a month i can grow my entire field of grass i can grow the front and the back field of grass but if i start feeding these animals just two pounds of grain a day that costs me like uh 350 bucks that 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 doubles my budget just to put an extra two pounds of grain a day into these animals 2.5 pounds a day it's something like that. It's, it's like it's like a it's like a four hundred uh, twenty-five. Yes, it's it's it, it, uh, it, it's like a what? Well, man, I forget. It costs a couple hundred dollars uh, to uh, to to feed these animals just two pounds of grain a day each. 
And so when at all possible, I'd like to just keep them rotationally grazing on the grass to let the grass grow back, you know, and uh, fertilize it and just let the grass grow back and then let them graze on it. But, uh, yep, I mean, I got the front field, the front field plowed up right now, so there ain't uh, much I can do. So, uh, yep, but I mean, that's okay. Here pretty soon, I'm, it, it may honestly be next year uh, until I can buy the land. I was talking to the USDA person today, and they gave me the paper. Or I, I talked to the USDA person yesterday, and uh, I got some paperwork on the specifics on, on the loan, on what a loan looks like, as well as um, as well as uh, uh, what what I would need to qualify for that loan. And, uh, yep, I need, I, I may, I may honestly need about one more year, but that's perfectly okay. I always, I always, uh, what my, one of my firm believes is don't be somebody who waits at the finish line. You know, the, the, the fell out of heaven, a seven mentality. That's what I call it. Some people that, they, they, that, that's just, that's just how they live their life. And if they um, if they genuinely believe that they fell out of heaven a seven, they just they some they some fairy child, and that they uh, they just born to do uh, whatever 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 that they 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 were just they were just gifted it from birth, and that they just gonna wait at the finish line. They not gonna get anywhere. They are gonna be a spectator, because the only people who uh, wait at the finish line are spectators, right? It ain't nobody running a race that's that's waiting for that's uh that's that's waiting at a finish line, and so it may take me a year to buy uh to buy those 85. I'm I'm looking for about an 85 acre piece of land, and so uh it may take me a year, but that's okay. Uh, I'll get the paperwork squared away and I'll get myself that land. And the cool thing about it is is how I think about it is that once the gates are open. You know, I could take a second loan if I felt like it from the USDA. I could take a second loan and I could buy my, if I felt like it, I could buy myself another 85 acres and then I'd have a uh, close to 200 acres or I'd have about a hundred, uh, yep. Uh, I could, I, I would have close to 200 acres then. And so once I get it figured out and once I get qualified for it, it would be easier for me to qualify for it again, especially if I buy a field that produces an income and then, um, uh, I can file that as more as more farm income. The USDA, I mean, I don't see why why it would be a, a, an issue to to get more money from the USDA and just let them know, hey, uh, I took that land and uh, that that land that you gave me or that that I bought with the money that that, that y'all lent me, I made a, I made money on it, and then uh, yep, now I'd like to buy more land. That that that's the name of the game, right? And so. Yep, uh, I just got to qualify for it one time, and then qualifying for it a second time is going to be easier. But it's all just, uh, it all is what it is. Either I uh, do it or I give up on my dreams today, and I live the rest of my life as somebody who gave up on my dreams. So, <laughs> I'm going to just stay after it. It ain't a big issue, right? But yep. An eighty-five, uh, an eighty-five hundred acre piece of land for half a million dollars is uh, just about two thousand dollars a month, zero insurance or anything like that on it. It's just principal and interest. So that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.